We are so lucky to live here that people want to come visit us. They want to come visit our state because it's so beautiful. People are just naturally curious about nature, children particularly, but everybody is curious about sea creatures. Great Bay Estuary is considered a gem for southeastern New Hampshire in terms of the life forms that they support as well as just for recreation and natural beauty. The thing that I love about the Greggs is they get it. They get what New Hampshire is. It's in their DNA. They love everything about New Hampshire. And they are always doing things to help improve the state of New Hampshire. My parents are, are truly remarkable people. They are so hardworking, but so generous of their energy and their spirit. But that comes from loving where they are. Truly believing as people that New Hampshire is a fantastic place to raise a family and that it should always be that way and always be a wonderful place to live in. And to make it continue to be that way, they needed to actively try to preserve that which they found most important. I first met the Greggs at the opening day of the Seacrow Science Center, and uh, then Governor Gregg was coming to cut the ribbon of kelp. But the Greggs involvement with the Seacrow Science Center started before there was a Seacrow Science Center. So I understand from uh, Judd's mother that the kids used to come here and explore the rocky shore and go tide pooling. Yeah, I mean, growing up, we were turning over the rocks and looking for the starfish and pulling out the crabs. And so the Seacrow Science Center was a place to explore. Whoa, another one, two of them. Right there. I've continued to go there often. My mom did tide pool kids with my daughter Louisa, um, and the two of them went and you know looked at the periwinkles and sludged through the seaweed. I think it's really wonderful. Judd was here as a little kid running around the rocky shore. And today, Kathy brings their grandchildren here uh, to participate in some of our little kid programs, and that to me is really special. And it it's just speaks to the importance and their vision of understanding a long-term commitment. It's a place that I think my parents really appreciate because learning and education has been essential to my parents. I think that that is what the Seeker Science Center does best, is really lets kids learn through experience. I just feel very fortunate that the Science Center is in a state and a place that has had a family that has supported so much of what we believe in. The other things that they have done in the state to advance a healthy environment is something that has meant a great deal to me and to the Seacoast Science Center. One of my favorites is that he did an executive order when he was governor that when DOT was doing a project all along a road in New Hampshire, they had to reconstruct any stone wall that had been disturbed by that construction. So he understands what the landscape is about, not just in terms of conservation, but in terms of its history, its stone walls, our heritage. The position I'm in today, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for the Greg. so I owe them a great deal of appreciation for their passion and for their interest in the university and their interest in marine science. UNH just holds a special place, from its location, you know, near Great Bay and the seacoast, to its purpose in educating those in New Hampshire. We have always had highly skilled, highly talented people. Having these big programs allowed us to bring all these people together with a single focus on what the outcomes would be. People have been talking about farming in the open ocean for two decades now, but no one was really doing anything. When we were able to put something out in the water and test things out and demonstrate that these things are feasible to do and commercially viable, everyone around the world was seeing us as a leader. Without that funding from Senator Gregg, that would not have happened. I think my parents feel that New Hampshire is just that beautiful and sharing that and preserving that for me and for my kids um, was important and I think they wanted us to understand that firsthand. Judd Gregg is the only governor that this state has ever had whose picture in the state house, whose official portrait in the state house, shows him hiking in the White Mountains, wearing hiking boots 
and a jacket out in the outdoors. I just, I mean, I think it, it exemplifies my father. Um, he is different than most politicians. He also is very strategic and specific in his actions, and so that portrait has a lot of little details that are very much my father. He and Kathy have hiked all over New Hampshire. They've enjoyed the outdoors. It's part of what they do as New Hampshire citizens, and they are part of the state in a way that's really fabulous. I think that Judd and Kathy embody the spirit of the Petty Medal Award. I, mean, I can't think of another couple who have done so much for the state and putting it into a regional and national context. I think if you look back of everything that the Greggs have done for the state of New Hampshire, I don't think there's anyone more deserving of this award. The award has meaning because the school has importance. And so that combination makes this award truly unique. The Petty Medal is an incredibly prestigious award. And I can think of no couple who more deserve it than Judd and Kathy Gregg. They have done so much for this state and so much for the Forest Society, so much for conservation in this state. I think it's wonderful that they're getting this award and I want to congratulate them from the bottom of my heart. Congratulations, Muffy and Bumpy. We are so happy for the both of you.